Hi guys, welcome back to the Tutor Learning Center. This is JD Tutor and I'm here to teach you some Algebra 2 Springboard textbook. And we're going to do lesson 1-3, activities 22 through 28. All right, guys. So let's take number 22, solve each absolute value equation. Let's start with A. All right, get to the whiteboard. All right, so we have <clears throat> absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 7. All right, remember, guys, we need to branch off, branch off to two different ones. So absolute value of 2x minus 3 all right, equals 7 <clears throat> and the absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals negative 7. All right, guys, so remember um, that this looks like, like our centerpiece, doesn't it? Looks like our centerpiece. So uh, let's take them out of parentheses. Equal 7. And guys, I'm going to go kind of swift here. You guys are, should not be baby algebra students anymore. Um, if you're still having trouble with algebra, I recommend that you go back through my detailed programs that I have on the channel. All right, so we're going to plus three both sides. All right, cancel, 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 multitasking between the two different problems. <laughs> 2x is 10, and over here, 2x equals negative 4. <clears throat> All right, divide by 2. x equals 5, and oops, guys, my x over here. All right, 2, 2, and then cancel, cancel, x equals negative 2. All right, guys, that's what we have for A. So we have uh, x equals 5 and x equals negative 2. All right. Pause the video if you have to, guys. All right. All right, so let's go to B. Oops. All right, so B. 2x plus 5 equals uh, absolute value equals 23. All right, so let's take these out. That looks like our centerpiece, doesn't it, guys? All right, so absolute value 2x plus 5 equals 23 and 2x plus 5 equals negative 23. All right, so bring these out, guys. All right, and 2x plus five equals negative 23. Get rid of those fives. Okay, get rid of that five and also this five here. Multitask on these problems here. All right, and that gives us two X equals 18 divided by the two. Cancel the twos, x equals nine. All right. And over here on this side, two x equals, oops, equals negative uh, 28. So two divided by two. And x equals negative 14. So 
uh, x equals 9 and x equals negative 14. All right, guys, let's go to C. Oops. What happened here? Oh, there you go. All right, so let's go to C. <clears throat> so um, absolute value of X minus 10 minus 11 equals 12 minus 23. So it gets more and more, guys. So let's go back to our whiteboard. <clears throat> All right. So C, absolute value of X minus 10. Minus 11 equals 12 minus 23. All right. So let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's um, subtract over here on the right-hand side. Okay. Equals negative 11. <clears throat> All right, trying to work toward getting our centerpiece, guys. Let's uh, take that 11, actually here, let me just cancel it out up here. Plus 11, all right, there we go, there we go, equals zero. So uh, let's take, let's go ahead and take this out of the brackets and get rid of that 10 so we can get the X by itself. All right. <clears throat> All right, X equals 10. All right, that's what the equation is. X equals 10, guys, for C. <clears throat> All right, pause the video if you have to. And bloop, let's see here. Let's go to D. For D, <clears throat> absolute value of uh, 7x plus 1 minus 7 equals 3. All right, let's go back to the whiteboard. So absolute value of 7x plus 1 minus 7 equals 3. <clears throat> Get rid of that 7. Do it on both sides. All right. This is our centerpiece. Okay. And we want to, oh, that's going to give us our two. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to take them out of parentheses. So 7x plus 1 equals that 10, 7x <clears throat> plus 1 equals the negative 10, all right, minus 1, and I'm going to do both problems that way, all right, cancel, 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 cancellation method, and 7 equals 9, okay, divide by 7, Cancel, cancel, and yes, it does leave it a fraction. Yes. <clears throat> All right, let's go in here over this side. 7x equals uh, negative 11. All right, cancel, cancel, and yes, it does leave this a fraction. Um, going to be x equals negative 11 over 7. All right, let's look at E, guys. Erase this, pause the video, guys. <clears throat> Oops, that's in the way. All right, let's look at E. And so we're going to have, um, we're going to have uh, absolute value of 2x minus three. So guys, when you, if you did the zero test on this, 
um, it would be 2x times zero would be zero, right? And then minus three equals minus five. So that minus three and that minus five is not going to equal. Okay, so that is going to be a um, no solution right here, guys, on the left-hand side. <laughs> no solutions. <clears throat> Let's go to number 23. All right, number 20. All right, if the center thickness of a lens varies more than 0 0.150 milliliter, millimeter from the target thickness of 5.000000 meters, the lens cannot be used. Write and solve an absolute value equation to find the extreme acceptable values for the center thickness of the lens. All right, guys, so here's what we have. Let's go to the whiteboard. All right, so we're going to say T minus the 0 0.150, okay, absolute value, okay, equals the 5.000. All right. And, you know, of course, we, we can take off that zero if we wanted. We could take off those zeros if we wanted. But um, uh, on a calculator, they probably would. But let's keep them on there for a, a second. So let's um, take these out. Looks like our centerpiece, doesn't it? Um, so 1.50 oh, equals 5.0. Zero, zero, zero. All right, now let's go over this way. T, equal, uh, T minus zero, <clears throat> 1 1.50 equals minus 5.000. Zero, zero, zero. Sorry, guys. All right, this whiteboard. All right, or me. So um, let's get rid of this 0 0.150 and get that T by itself and do it to both sides. Point, that's a point guys. Point 0.150 and then cancel, cancel. T equals uh, 5.150. Zero. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing over here. 0 0.150. Get rid of that. And then we're going to do plus 0 0.150. And that T comes over by itself. <clears throat> Negative 4.85. Zero. All right, guys. And that is the end of that problem. That was number 23. All right. Pause the video, guys. Write that down. All right. Let's go to number 24. Number 24. Okay. So we did number 23. All right, and number 24. Solve the equation 2x plus 4 minus 1 equals 7. All right, let's go back. <clears throat> oh, and then graph the solution on a number line, a number line. So let's go back. Take a good look at this, and then we're going to write it down up here on the whiteboard. Pause the video if you have to. All right, so we're looking at solving two plus four absolute value minus uh, one equals seven. All right, let's start working toward our centerpiece. All right, so we're having two 
x, that's not a one, guys, that's a bracket, plus four, and another bracket, equals eight. <clears throat> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Two x plus four equals negative eight. All right, and so now we can solve both sides. Let's take them out of the parentheses. Oops, plus four, guys. Oops. Equals negative eight. That's a negative eight. <clears throat> All right, get rid of that four and do it on both sides. Oh, actually, that's, hold on, guys. Eh. Negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four, and get rid of, get rid of, and two x equals four, and divide by two, two, and cancel, cancel, x, x, equals two, so we have two so far, and then over here, bring down that two equals negative 12, and divide by that two, both sides, uh, that x <clears throat> equals negative six. All right, now let's graph. So guys, they're introducing you now here as they did in the other lesson. They're introducing you to inequalities once we start putting it on this graph. So one and two. So we're gonna dot right there, two. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six dot there. And that is negative six. All right, so negative six, guys. All right, and that is it for 24. All right, that's it for 24. All right, pause the video, write this down. Okay. All right, let's look at 25. <clears throat> A thermometer is accurate to within 0 0.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So within, we know 0 0.6, okay? Um, the thermometer indicates that Zachary's temperature is uh, 101, uh, 101 0.7 degrees, all right? Write and solve an absolute value equation to find the extreme possible values of Zachary's actual temperature. So if this is his temperature and it has to be within the 0 0.6, we're gonna have to subtract that by the temperature. We don't know what the, um, uh, the extreme actual possible temperature it is. So the absolute value of that. So let's go over to whiteboard. All right, so we'll have T minus 101.7 equals 0 0.6. All right, guys, ignore that telephone. <laughs> All right, let's do T minus 101.7 equals 0 0.6. All right, so uh, um, let's do a negative. Uh, this is our centerpiece. So I got distracted by the telephone, guys. 101.7 equals 0 0.6. 6, that's negative, right? All right, and so let's get rid of that 101.7. Plus 
plus 101.7. All right, and that's gonna give us T equals 102.3. And let's do this side, guys. Cancel, cancel, and T equals uh, 101.1. All right, we have a radio station, 101.1. All right, that's the answer for um, number 25. All right, pause the video, write that down, guys. All right, guys, number 26 looks like there is an A, B, C, D, and E. All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's do number 26. So um, we did 25. Let's do 26A. All right. So solve each absolute value inequality. Graph the solutions on a number line. All right, let's go back up. So uh, absolute value of X plus five is less than 12. All right, let's get back to our whiteboard. All right, absolute value of X plus five is less than 12. All right, guys, so this does look like our centerpiece. So we're gonna go ahead and just do X plus five, take it out of the brackets, is less than 12. All right, and over here, guys, x plus five is uh, greater than negative 12. So when you have a negative here, remember, we're going to flip this sign the other way, other, the other way opposite of this one okay because all because of this lowly negative sign all right <clears throat> so now let's solve minus five from both sides minus five minus five cancel 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 and x equals um uh, x i'm sorry x is less than seven and X is greater than negative 17. All right, so let's put this into a compound equation. Let's do, uh, we have our X in the middle. And so uh, this, is going to, this is going to be pointing toward the X. So pointing toward the X, that seven comes over here. And then this is going to be pointing greater toward the X. And at the same direction as this, right? So negative 17. All right. So that's it for 26A. All right. All right. So B, guys, uh, write this down. Pause the video, write it down. All right. So B. We're looking at um, absolute value 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. All right, let's go to the whiteboard. All right, absolute value of 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. All right, guys, we're going to do two different ones. Okay, that's our centerpiece. So go ahead and take them out the parentheses, plus two. You're going to have to anyway. Equals 13. And uh, 5x x plus two. And don't forget, because we're switching this to a negative, our signs are going to flip. <clears throat> okay, flip opposite of that. So negative two 
negative two. And let's do the same over here, guys. It's the same. Negative two, negative two. And cross out, cross out, cross out, cross out. And 5x equals 11. And then, um, sorry, there's a gnat here, guys. All right, get in my face. Um, so cross out. And 11 equal, oh, not equals, guys. I'm sorry. It's going to be greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, sorry, guys, um, 11 over 5. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's continue this one. 5x is less than or equal to uh, negative uh, 3, no, negative uh, 15. I'm trying to see where I am on my notes. Five, five, cross out, cross out. X is less than or equal to negative three. So we have, we're going to have uh, X is greater than or equal to 11 over five and X is less than or equal to negative three. All right, let's look at, that's B. Let's look at number C, letter C. Sorry guys, I can only go as fast as my computer. All right, so let's take a look at C. All right, absolute value 10X minus 12 minus nine is less than or equal to negative one. All right. Whiteboard. All right. <clears throat> so 10, 10 X minus 12 minus nine is uh, less than or equal to negative one. All right, let's get rid of that nine and start working toward our centerpiece. And then 10, that's a bracket, minus 12, absolute value equals eight. All right, so now we have to do it again. 12 equals negative. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's going to be less than or equal to. And now you're going to flip that sign here, less than or equal to. I'm stuck on the equal sign today, guys. I right, flip that sign because it becomes a negative eight. All because of that little negative. We're going to flip the sign from over here, the opposite of this. Okay, so uh, now let's solve. Okay, so get rid of that 12, guys. Cancel, cancel. And, oh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm missing an X, too, here. Ah, oh, what's wrong with me today? Let's see. Sorry, guys. So 10X uh, equals 20. 10, 10. Cancel X equals two, or let's do this side. 10X minus 12 is greater than or equal to negative eight. Okay, plus the 12. Plus the 12. All right, cancel, cancel. 10X equals... Uh, negative, uh, actually positive four, uh, actually is going to be 10 X is going to be, uh, greater than or equal to 10 
uh, down here, 10 here. Cancel, cancel, x e uh, is greater than or equal to 2 over 5, guys. And that is what C looks like. <clears throat> so x equals to, not equals, guys. I'm sorry. Where am I at today? Um, x is less than or equal to 2, or x is greater than or equal to 2 over 5. Sorry about that. All right, write that down, guys. All right, so let's go to D. All right, let's go to D. Uh, absolute value X minus seven plus three um, is greater than eight. Let's come on back over to the whiteboard. All right, guys, so X, absolute value X minus seven plus three is greater than eight. All right, so let's get to our centerpiece, guys. Get rid of that three, both sides. Cancel, cancel. X minus seven is greater than eight. And also we're going to flip our sign. Flip negative eight. <clears throat> All right, now let's solve guys. Let's do, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a five. Sorry, guys. I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> it's the end of the week. Oh, let's see. Sorry. All right. And negative five. Flip that sign here. Flip that sign, okay? All right. Too late to restart the video now. All right. We're already in the middle of everything. So, um not going to cancel out the mistakes. Hey, you know what? I'm a human being. So, all right. Uh, so let's bring everything out the bracket. All right. Everything out the bracket. Uh, remember that's flipped right here. Flipped. Okay. And get rid of that seven. Get rid of that seven on both sides. All right. Cancel, cancel, X is uh, greater than 12. And cancel, cancel, X is less than uh, uh, two. All right, and then uh, that's it, guys. So it's um, both of these. All right, that's D. All right. Let's go for problem E. Problem E, write that down, guys. Pause the video. All right, let's go for E. <clears throat> All right, so we have the absolute value of negative 2x plus 5 plus six is greater than or uh, equal to four. All right, guys, so let's do this one on the whiteboard. Uh, let's see, um, just to let you know, this is going to be no solutions, All right? So um, if you were to plug zero into this, that would give you a zero plus five, and then you would minus six from both sides and it would not equal out. So um, you would do uh, basically, you'll be doing a five uh, plus, a, a plus a six and, and you get rid of that. And then that would be uh, a five. It, it, wouldn't, it would not work out guys. Um, it wouldn't work out. So uh, no solution. Okay, um, to have a solution, you would have to be equal on both sides. 
um, and you're not. This is going to be a five, and that's going to be a greater than or equal to a negative two, right? So, all right, no solution. So let's do, that's E. Let's do number 27. All right, number 27. Which number line shows the solution of the inequality? So which number line shows the solutions of the inequality? Oh, guys, we didn't do something, did we? We didn't take care of this. Oh, I didn't see this two on there. You got to divide by that two, guys. Let's divide by that two. All right, let's divide by that two, cancel. And that's going to give X minus one is greater than or equal to two or X minus one is flip that sign. Two, negative two. All right, and so plus one plus one. Right, that's going to give us x is greater than or equal to three, which here's our three. All right, let's solve for the other side. Okay, we flipped our sign here, plus one. All right, cancel, cancel. X is going to be less than or equal to one. And here is our sign right there. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's look at number 28. All right, so the equation y equals 0.5x plus 40 represents the monthly cost in y dollars of Leslie's cell phone, where x is the number of talk minutes over 750 that Lef Leslie uses. So graph the equation, graph the equation. So how did you determine the range of values to show on each axis of your graph? So let's look at the letter A. So we graph the equation. So remember, um, we started all the way to zero. Remember in one of our previous videos where it went from like the one, but it went down an extra step, right? All right, that's kind of what it's doing. So uh, talk minutes over 750, monthly cost. So at a monthly cost, it's going up. It's going up by twos. Right, so up by twos um, and in minutes and up by twos in monthly cost. All right, all the way up um, in a linear line. Everybody remember the linear line, right? All right, that's supposed to be linear, guys. All right, so let's look at B, our sample answer. X represents a number of talk minutes which means that X cannot be negative. Y represents the monthly cost of the cell phone, which means that Y cannot be negative either. The least possible monthly cost of the cell phone is $40. So I put a break in the Y axis between zero and 38 so that the graph would not need to be so tall. When X equals 10, Y equals 45. So I let the Y axis go up to 48 to include all of the Y values as X increases from zero to 10. So guys, write this entire answer down. I wanna see that on your papers. All right, pause the video if you have to see. So 28, we've done A, B, and C. All right, so what are the units on each axis of the graph? So 
C is X axis minutes over 750 and Y axis is the dollars. Okay, so write that down guys. All right, so D. What are the units of the slope of the linear equation explained? So the, what are the units of the slope? Dollars per minute over 750. So your sample explanation is going to be the slope of the ratio. The slope is the ratio of the change in Y to the change in X between any two points on the line. So the units of the slope are units of Y per units of X. All right. So write that down, guys, write all this down, all right, for D. That is what are the units of the slope of the linear equation. All right, and E, write a different plausible scenario not related to cell phone costs that could be modeled using the equation Y equals 0.5X plus 40. Be sure to use appropriate vocabulary, both real world and mathematical. So let's go to E. Answers may vary, sample answer. Write this down, guys. The equation represents the amount of money Gary saves if he started with $40 and then saved 0.50 cents per day. All right, guys, we are at the end. All right, thank you for your patience. And I will see you on the next video.